Okay, I got some new loot for a new project that I probably don't need to do, but whatever. I'm easily distracted, so this is the new project. Uh, this is a shipment from Drip Depot. We've got, I think it's a 250 foot roll of the low pressure sort of drip tubing, you know, irrigation tubing, DIY irrigation tubing. We're actually going to use this as a main water supply line down to our goat pen. Now, before you guys get carried away, this stuff is not meant um, to be under pressure all the time, and it's really not rated for the same pressure that your house sees as far as, you know, 45 to 55 PSI. Uh, I think it's actually only rated for about 40 PSI, and because it's not, <coughs> and it's not rated, excuse me, it's not rated to be under pressure all the time. So I've got a couple extra features that I'm going to build in here just to help um, try to limit failures on this and make it work for what we want to do. I bought this particular pipe because it's super cheap compared to buying, um, you know, other pipe that's, of course, a higher pressure rated pipe. Now, granted, had I gone and bought a, a big roll of PVC or PEX, yeah, it probably would have been pretty cheap too. Um, but I wanted to go with something that, again, something that I thought, you know, hey, listen, if I move the goat pin in a couple of years or whatever, maybe I can pull this stuff up and reuse it. So let me show you what I've got. Um, we're going to start with a timer, and that is so that our water isn't on all the time. I'm going to try to set the timer so the water turns on for a couple of hours in the morning and a couple of hours in the evening. Basically, it would be running a drip cycle, and actually, shoot, I might even tee off of it and run some drippers if I've got stuff that needs water. But ultimately, it's just going to be on um, to supply water to the goat pen. Now, this is going to be at full pressure. So just downstream of the timer, we're going to have a pressure regulator. And this is a hose to hose, and it's a 35 PSI regulator. It says it takes PR5535. Maybe that means it takes it from 55 to 35. I don't really know. But it was it's called a, uh, let me see if this shows on here anywhere too. Yeah, 35. You guys probably can't hardly read it. But 35 PSI right there. Then there is an adapter. It's a swivel. So this goes from hose over to general compression fitting. Now this is all half inch line. Um, so this is just going to be, again, use your thin walled poly tubing um, for irrigation systems, but I got all push fittings. So that's it for the, the system for the adaption. So again, the timer is going to be set up such that it lets water turn on for a couple of hours in the morning, maybe something like 7 to 9 a.m. Um, so that will activate the system, so to speak, because that's normally somewhere in there is normally when we're doing the chores in the morning. Uh, and then again, it's got the, the pressure regulator and then the adapter to cross over to flex hose. And there's just going to be a long run of flex hose all the way down to the goat pin. And then once we get down to the goat pin, we're going to tee up. So I've got tees, I've got 90s just in case I need them, and then I've got uh, ball valves. And so, you know, I'm going to bury the pipe just a couple inches below the ground. We don't have freezes down here to have to worry about it freezing. And even if we do, I'm really not worried since it's going to be turning on and off. If we're expecting a hard freeze, I'll just turn the system off and drain it. Um, but really, I'm just going to bury it just to, you know, keep the sun off of it. But this stuff is uh, UV rated, I believe, so it's okay if it's exposed to the sun. I don't really want to leave it laid out across the ground and expose the sun all the time, just because then the water going to the goat pen would be scalding hot. So I'm going to cover it up just to try to protect it from that. So that's the plan. We're going to start hooking it up and laying it out tonight. Um, I'm not going to get any active photos for you. We, yeah. My wife just said we and scoff. I think she's drinking a beer already. <laughs> so I will start working on it tonight. Uh, I'll probably just give you an update in the morning and kind of show you how the system's laying out and give you a little better feel for what we're trying to do with it. All right, so this is rough at best, but I've got it all laid out now. It sat out in the sun today, so it's nice and soft and it's much easier to work with. Last night was a pain trying to coil this stuff all out. Um, which part of that was my own set, my, my own fault for getting greedy and not, you know, trying to back, reverse the coil the whole time. But anyway, I got it all laid out roughly last night, enough that this today, you know, got full sun and got soft. So we're just kind of tracing back now the path that I've run with it. It's silly, you know, you make it run this way and that way, but I didn't want to have to cut a, a trough right through my driveway. I had to stop and tell my kids to quiet down. They're fighting in the pool. Even though they're all happy and having fun, they continue to fight. 
Anyway, so I didn't really want to have to cut a gouge through my rock and then tear up all my plastic underneath. So that's the only reason that I ran it out like I did and then crossed over where the rock ends. But it's enough that it got me down there. I was hoping to have a little bit more length on it. And honestly, if I had more dirt filled in through here, I could shortcut it right across there and save like 20 or 30 feet at least. Probably a lot more than that. Um, but this is going to work for now. I'm just going to go through with the tractor bucket and pile dirt on top of it just to get it out of the sun so that it's not just getting blazing hot and you know, we're running scalding water down to the goats. Um, I guess for now we can just waste some water and, you know, when we first turn it on, just let it run the hot water out until cold water gets down there. It ain't but a, you know, a couple 10, 15 gallons maybe to fill the line. So it's really not that bad. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I just ran it around the edge of our washed out patio here. <laughs> And then it comes right up along the edge of the actual patio and back over here to the watering system. So the timer right now it says it's ready and it should show next cycle 7 p.m. tonight. It just flashed over. Maybe you guys can see it. So uh, yeah, 3.15 in the afternoon and next cycle will be at 7 p.m. So I just need to go down now. Oh, I forgot to mention last night there was also a backflow preventer that I put on there to make sure that there's no way we'll ever get nasty water back up into our water system. I figure that's actually, I mean, we're all downgrade and everything else, but whatever, it doesn't hurt. It was like $2 or something. Anyway, so I just gotta go grab a valve for right now. I'm gonna throw one of those valves on the end of it, and then we might actually do a little manual mode, turn it on manual for a couple minutes to see if we can't test it. <laughs> a year! It's been a year <coughs> of having the goat pin down here with no running water. Takes me two hours once I finally get around to buying the supplies. So it's kind of fun. I just went up and I set the timer right now in manual mode to get it turned on. And I just turned manual for 15 minutes just to be able to have flow and water. That way I can wander off, shut the valve, and then forget about it. It'll turn itself off. Um, but it was kind of funny. I turned it on and then I started running down here thinking I was going to be wasting much water on the ground. And my wife's like, what are you, what are you doing? Why are you running? I said, I got water running. And then I get down here and the water hadn't got here yet. I actually beat it. <laughs> so then I got down here and I was trying to tell if it was actually running or not. I put my hand over the end of it. Um, and I could feel like the hot, sort of a hot breeze coming out because that black pipe laying in the sun was so hot. So this is awesome. Uh, it is a relatively low flow rate, but that's okay. Because we'll be able to just turn the valve on and walk away and let it fill while we're doing other things and then come back and shut it off after a minute or two. So. I went ahead and dumped out their water that they had in here. <coughs> it was actually relatively cool because we got it underneath the shade cloth, so it wasn't like the water was all hot and nasty, but just to kind of celebrate, I dumped it out and I flushed their pans. And I get two nice big pans full of fresh water here. So this is super exciting. Um, nothing fancy, nothing special, and it's not really done yet because right now I just laid out the hose and put the plumb valve on the end. But it's done for now because I don't have as much pipe as I'd hoped, like I said, because I had to run out and around like I did. So I don't actually have enough to run valves and tees and everything where I want to put them. Um, so for now, we're done. We'll just have to fill buckets here and then carry them 20 feet and, and dump them. So anyway, huge improvement. Got a couple other improvements that I'm working on as far as moving the junior's house and uh, swapping gates and whatnot around. So yeah, super exciting. Things are looking up in the goat pen. <laughs>